finishing a pile of work and several projects is an amazing feeling until you realize there's a room full of piles. Uh, anyways, uh, it is 8 hours and 32 minutes into the day of Monday, October 19th, uh, 2020. We're getting closer and closer to the election. A lot of Americans really, most Americans have no idea what's at stake. They could end up losing everything. Elect the wrong person. And this is the thing is, is one of the people, Biden, hasn't been elected. The person who should be representing the Democrats is Bernie Sanders. Biden and Harris were chosen by a group of elite Democrats. They weren't chosen by the Democratic Party, the, peop the people of the party. Bernie Sanders would have won. But he was told to shut up and sit down and they'll handle it. The, the elites of the uh, Democratic Party. Is this someone you want? Is this how you want the United States to be run? No longer by election, but by selection? Well, if that's the case, then elect Joe Biden. But you're not an American because you're not electing anybody. You're allowing a elite group of people, king or, or king makers, to select who you're, who's going to be your leader. And that's what it is. Uh, um, the American concept is about individuality. It's about being an individual. It's not being about being socialists or being a social society or having social justice. It's about individuals making individual choices. And this includes and sometimes, in many cases, uh, discriminating. You know, choosing what you want and what you don't want, what you like and what you don't like. If someone doesn't like you, then, well, sorry, but they don't have to be inclusive. This is the individual right. This is the this is the concept of being independent. You know, I don't have any problem with that. I mean, I have my own life, and other people have their own their own lives. You know, I don't necessarily have to have what somebody else has. Well, I know there's a lot of people out there who want and expect to have what everybody else has, and if they're not given it, then they're getting very angry because. Of, well, I should have this, and I should have that, because I am this, and I am that. And, and in comparison to this other person there that I know, who is not as good as I am, but I, they have a lot more than I do, and I should have more. That's the argument. And a lot of times, these people are ones who are looking for handouts, but even if they get the handout that they, that, that they said they wanted, they're not going to be happy, because there's always somebody else who's going to have something better. And they're never happy, they're never satisfied with what they have, so they always want more and always want better, and what they have is never, ever good enough. And so they're always miserable, they're always upset, they're always depressed. And in many cases, these are the ones who always yell and scream at people. You see them on the internet as haters, because they hate everything. And why? Because they're pissed at the world. They're pissed at that their life isn't working out the way they expected it to work out. They're not being given their due respect. But the thing is, for, for, for the way I see things, and it should be obvious because I'm saying it, I don't think that's, that there's a bit of redundancy in that saying, well, I think, and... Because you're saying it. You're stating it. You're stating what your th thoughts are. I don't need this. I don't need to have what somebody else has. I don't need somebody else's life. I'm happy with what I have. I make my own way. And this is part of being an explorer. Is explorer is you're not going down the path that somebody else has gone down. You, as an explorer, you're going down your own path. You're going out to places that other people don't want to go to or don't care to go to. And if they don't want to go to where you're going, that's fine. And if they don't invite you to where they're going, that's fine as well, because you can get there on your own if you wanted to. I mean, there's no reason why if someone doesn't invite you to a particular place that you couldn't go on your own. You know, if that's what you wanted. For me, my happiness is on my couch watching the YouTube strolling cartoon. That's my happiness. <laughs> I don't need any... If, if, if my life was good food and sitting on the couch watching 
watching uh, vlogs and uh, uh, and cartoons and, and anime, I'd be happy. That that that's my heaven. That that, that I don't need anything more than that. I mean, in in a lot of the services, some of the ancient writings, they talk about using your enemy as your footstool. Well, I don't care. Or people sitting on golden thrones and this and that. And I don't need that. This isn't something that appeals to me. I'd rather be... An, a, well, some of these shacks in the wood, some of these cabins are beautiful. They're nice. I wouldn't mind that. I mean, that, that would make me happy. I, I, there's nothing I like better on... on on a fall day or even on a spring day when it rains a lot, just sitting sitting at the window, covered up in a blanket or something like that, so I'm sleeping at the same time, got the TV on, and watching and listening to the rain. That's my cup of tea. That's what I like. So I don't need the other things. I don't particularly care. But I think is unfortunately there are a lot of people who and, and they listen, listen to what we see in the me news and the media. Oh, you have to have this and you have to have that and well, this and you know. If you want to be miserable for the rest of your life, follow their advice. If you want to be happy, stand up, be independent. And this is the case here. The only one who is actually independent because, because both the Republicans and the Democrats are attacking him is Donald Trump. So who's my choice? Donald Trump. Why? Not because he's a Republican. I'm not a Republican. It's because he's independent. He has his own mind. He pisses off both the Republicans and the Democrats. Yay for that. <laughs> Let him piss off more of the government. That's what I'd like to see. The government is primarily... They're parasites. They're, they're, they're infections that destroy the host. This is the only way to describe what they are and what they do to people. Anyways, we're gonna have a delivery today, so we'll probably have a vlog during the uh, uh, once they have once I get my stuff. It's nothing spectacular. It's more meat and some more milk. Uh, that's the prime. That's the primer that's coming in. So we'll see. I'll probably vlog and then and, and hopefully if it, if it rain. If, if the weather's okay and it doesn't rain, then I'll probably have a scooter vlog as well. I'll probably go to my parents and I'll buy a scooter and I'll vlog as I'm going. It is the 20th of October and don't I look amazing? Hmm. It is six hours and nine minutes into the 20th day of October. It is Tuesday. And we are here at the end, end of vlog for Monday. Uh, approximately 24 hours ago. Mm -hmm. Not quite, though, but we are we do operate on a 24-7 day. It just depends when, when we get here. Right now, the uh, schedule is sort of for 6 o'clock in the morning. Um... That typically has to do with the gaming. That's uh, with the needs uh, gaming is what sort of sets the times, uh, sets the schedule. And right now, this is what it is. And we'll see what it is tomorrow. We'll see how it sets. Uh, you know, that changes. On it it, 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 it does change. It does shift. Uh, sometimes it's early. Sometimes it's late. Um, We've started at two o'clock in the afternoon. It it really depends on what's going on, uh, the level of the depth of uh, of what I'm studying that sort of determines uh, when I start, when I end. Because it shifts, it shifts actually some of the gaming stuff because there are conditions under which and this is what happened over uh, I think over the weekend where I left gaming almost for 12 hours I thought, was it about 10, 10 hours I got came back and the there was two hours left in the so that's, and then the, two hours left in the shields and um, uh, I should say the sheltering and uh, 
I set them. For, they are the maximum they're set for is twelve. So that means I had been away from the gaming uh, uh, for about ten hours. It was just that I was off doing something else and couldn't get back to the gaming. So I ended up getting back a little late, and that sort of sort of threw off uh, and skewed a large chunk of the schedule. Uh, I think what was it doing? I was work. Uh, oh yeah, I was I was I was uh, making the Gibby. The Gibby uh, takes some takes some time to do and. You can shift your schedule, with forcing you to miss uh, a certain scheduled event. You have some leeway on your needs. Uh, there's the ideal, and then there's uh, getting down to the bare minimal, getting down to uh, uh, just what you have to do in order to stay uh, uh, functional within the game. And this is sort of the key component is that over the long run it's not a matter of about being spectacular, it's about staying functional for a very long period of time. This has been over years. It's uh, uh, 400, more than 490 days. They count that as logins, but it's not necessarily logins. It's uh, um, it's uh, logins per day and they only count it once a day, so it's only once a day. So give us, that's uh, 365 is one year. We're talking about 490, so you're talking about, uh, let's say, 30. Uh, 30 games to 400. Uh, 400 days, uh, then another 90. So we're looking at close to um, to four months. So it's basically... Uh, one year and four months have been uh, on the game uh, uh, lords, and that's that. From the from the lords perspective, that's actually a long time. Most uh, kingdoms are gone uh, within thirty days, uh, and that's what I see. Most of my most the the, the guilds, uh, the guild that I have, the two guilds I have, the attrition rate is not due to ca castles being killed. It is just. They're there, they get there, they sit in there, and then they um, try to do the PvP. They're using the strategy for PvP, uh, person to, uh, person versus person. Uh, and at some point in time, I guess they run out of money. Because if you play like a, a PvP in this game, uh, you'll get knocked out very quickly because your expenses run up too high. You won't get anywhere. Lords Mobile is a long-term endurance game. It's not a short, quick sprint. Uh, and a short, quick sprint, even if you're spending 12 hours, 12 hours to beat the game, or you're doing a 12-hour session, 12 hours isn't long when you compare it to um, 60 days or more, or, or, or a year or more. And there's still a lot more to go. I'm not, not nowhere near finished. Uh, so, the challenge is significant. And I think that because it, 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 it behaves almost as a simulator, because it depends on how, what you, how you use your strategies, it goes over very well with LARP. It, the, the LARP game that I'm playing as Q is, uh, is significantly similar. Just one is real and the other one isn't. That's the only functional difference is between the two. Uh, but in terms of how you lay out your strategies, there are short-term goals and then there are long-term goals. Sometimes you sacrifice a short-term goal for the longer-term goal. It just really depends on what the situation is, uh, how things are kind of shaping up. Uh, and then you, function, you, you do your functional work first and then you do the fluff afterwards. Uh, it re again, it really depends on the situation that's going on in the present. It sort of determines whether or not if you're working on a longer-term project that is going to be more significant in the long term than some of the shorter-term projects, some of the shorter-term things that you, shorter -term things that you want. Uh, I either canceled altogether or put off to another time. You don't have to necessarily stop what you're doing in terms of the short-term project. Well, okay, this time I can't get this done now. 
later. I'll 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 back schedule it to to let's say uh, two months from now. And you go back to that project two months from now to finish up with a short little thing that we, you know, the short little game that you were supposed to do, but wasn't necessarily significant in the long run because uh, it was a short-term goal at that particular time. Now, it doesn't mean that a short-term goal doesn't uh, uh, in a short-term product doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be significant. It could be significant down the road, but d just in terms of your priorities and how you want to schedule things, uh, something else becomes more important, and it's that you, you, you back schedule it. Anyways, uh, this is about perseverance. Again, the whole strategy here is perseverance. How do you stay alive? And it doesn't matter whether I'm worth it or not, uh, no refunds.